We will never have a character like Jian. Interesting. Let's uh, see what he's got to say and the reasoning behind it. I'm interested. Yo. Today we're gonna talk about yo, yo. Jian. This character was so unique that we will never get another one like him in Weathering okay. Waves. So today, as always, we have in a chat about one of the characters in Weathering Waves. I know that a lot of people like these kind of videos, so I'm going to make more and this will probably be a new series in the channel. You know, this series wasn't known. It was this trailer, I oh, it blew me away, and like it wasn't anything that was super bombastic. This Jeji uh, Resonator showcase, but oh my god, it hit so well for me. I just, I, I she is probably one of my favorite, maybe my favorite character in the game, and I haven't even played it yet. I just think a voice acting, a whole demeanor, a design, I love it. I think this was a banger trailer actually, and I hope. Uh, companion storyline. He's like light-hearted as well. I really like the light-hearted vibe for that um, showcase. Was very private. And you know what's more private? It's today's sponsor, Surfshark. Oh. <laughs> Wait, don't skip. Listen, this is a good one. Surfshark is <laughs> Wait, don't skip. <laughs> is one of the most popular VPNs I'm really in the interested world. to see what he's got to say about uh, why we'll never have another character like Jian. You know, since hacking is way more common. Is it because he's such a crayonated character? Uh, are we uh, are we gonna see no. not only that it prevents not that simplicity if you will again in a character in the future are we gonna see more nuance Surfshark and complexity more um, from all the future characters servers I, 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 in I don't know actually I'm curious to see what he's gonna say but I do think we will have more crown into characters everywhere. And it has that's why I love Gian as well you know keep it simple for me I'm good to go it was gonna jump in time I for free by clicking on the link in the description or using the coupon Sjorg even when you pay, you I love this random dude who's as well in that trailer. Um, so this is a great opportunity I think he, I think he made the trailer as well, if I'm honest. Without the risk of disliking the product. Click on the link in the description and download Surfshark now. Anyway, uh, there you go. The if you want so to get Surfshark. Picture, let's talk about Jian, the good things in his okay. kit, and what makes him unique. And I want you to focus... Dude, CC is insane. He's super simple, super powerful. There are characters that you're going to get a little bit more out of and they might have a little bit more viability and a bit more synergy across teams. But the dude is just a hammer and he does his job really well. It's really easy to get everything out of him compared to some other characters. As again, people like Je um, uh, Jinxi, um, even Chang Li, you might be able to get a little bit more. But he just does it so effortlessly. Uh, it's one of the best things about him. Some people don't like that about him. But I think he's, he's, he's a real good crayon eater character. If you just want to bash the shit out of shit and do it really simply, he's your man. Focus here because Plus every single cool point well. and every single thing that is positive about Jian makes man. him Come more on. unique. And if we remove one of them, the perception will change a lot. That's why you need to hear everything. So first, okay. let's talk about the main thing, which is he has a lot of easy things in his kit. For example, yes. he's the only character that has an insanely easy counter. You actually do not need to think when you're popping your ult. <laughs> you really don't. You really don't. Against most bosses, Jian has it easy because he can counter almost every time. As I said, most because there are some exceptions, but it's very minimal. And so Jian makes you turn off your brain and makes the game yep. easier. And so yep. logically, the damage of Jian needs to be mid. You know, he's easy, so at least he doesn't need to be... I don't even think it's that mid, though. But this is what I was talking about before when people were saying, like, when Jinsi came out, hey, there's power creep in the game. I just disagreed for the fundamental reason that the characters that you can get a little bit more out of than people like Jian, who was like a banner, um, a limited banner, was that he's just easier to get it out of. And sometimes, you know, that makes him almost better for a lot of people as well because they could just go through the motions and get everything out of him rather than having to uh, really chain things together and use the character as, as efficiently and uh, to the best of their abilities, if that makes sense. Be that much powerful. And no, Jian has an insane amount of damage for he how goes. easy Ridiculous. He is. Because being almost on par with Shen Li, while being this easy, is something crazy. And we always come back to the fact that he can counter easily. Because most of the time, you will not stop your combos and need just to a dodge tank? a lot like just other characters. Tank? No, he can continuously do his full combo easily, so he can unleash more and more damage. And all of that requires less skill. Now, I don't mean that there is no way to stylize with GN. This is actually so wrong. You can go in depth with this character, but he actually has- Oh, for sure, there's definitely skill expression with him. 
But there's no denying, again, I just think that, I think that's a perfect name for him. He's a crayon eater character, you know what I mean? He could just switch off and just go to town. Has and I love a very, it. very, very low skill floor. So now we know that he has very good counters and he has very good damage. So he's basically good versus bosses. So what about the mobs? Yep. He also in... I think he's probably the best for like tacit fields and you know when you just need to clear a bunch of content quickly uh, and it's stuff that's usually under leveled compared to your character especially as your as your uh, account grows you can just fly through them you know bring in Verena uh, if you've got your ult buff him and just go to town and just clear you can clear a couple of waves at a time sometimes and it's just you just literally uh, just switch off and do it and it's and the same it's ability nice has an insane sort of amount of grouping you can take all the enemies and you know these first three floors in the toa where you need to have grouping at least yep. in the current meta gian always shines his ultimate Perfect. doesn't only group it also has a big aoe so his damage is also very good against mobs maybe this character is actually made and, and even when you don't manage to group everybody right away or you can dash around while you're doing it and just pull everybody in it's just it, uh, Again, people say that he's not fun because how simple he is, but I just, I, I love that about him. Like, the, the CC capability is, I think, my favourite thing. It's just so fun to, to just group up a bunch of characters and just literally just splatter them across the map. It, I, I think it's a lot of fun. For mobile players, I don't know. Not every He's character has to be super easy. complex as well. I think, I think every that's a thing. mobile player should have this character, you know? We all know that... All True, that, that's a good point. That is actually, I never really thought of it like that. He is really good for people on mobile, actually. That's a very good point. I never really took that into consideration. Um, but considering, you know, the inputs, the interface is a lot more difficult on mobile. That's a really good point, actually. And I, again, I think we need characters here and there that are simple. Because I think it makes, you know, it switches up the gameplay style for one. You know, not everything has to be about linking everything together and getting good combos out and making sure you're doing your rotation perfect. And I think it makes those other characters shine a little bit more as well. And it just had, adds variety to the gameplay, doesn't it? Not everything has to be that extra layer of nuance. It can just be a dude who just beats the shit out of things really simply. On mobile, the game is harder. Of course, you can be a good player there, but on PC, people have a big advantage. Oh, and definitely. having Gian there, yeah. And outside of his ult, he does have good damage and he can build his ult very quickly because he also has a great team of four stars already. Like when we had the game- It works really well with Mordfear as well for the heavies. Uh, it works really well with Yinlin as well. Um, the dude is a beast. He already has a great team. Of course, his best team has one 5-star, which is Verena. But his main character that needs to be with him is... Verena works well with everybody, though, really, when you think about it. Like, we need another character to, comp to compete with Verena. That's the biggest thing in this game at the moment that it desperately needs, in my opinion. Is Mortefi. And Mortefi is doing a great job with him. So now we add all of these points together and ask the question, why will we not get another one like him? Of course, okay. you can already tell that these are a lot of things to have in one character. Here's why it's not gonna be repeated again. First thing is the meta in Weathering Waves for now, at least even for the <laughs> <laughs> they're going with the GG. Flashy gameplay. Kieran's 889 subscribed to your channel for five months. Hey yo, Kieran, thank you very much for the five months, dude. Appreciate ya. What's going on, Jamie? with swap combos we saw the insane amount of combos that you can do with shan li and also jinxi with swap back now yeah. jian also has the swap back mechanic but it's so easy while of course a lot of other characters do have easy swap back mechanics but remember that this is inside of his ult so when you do it you also are not afraid from the boss because you have an easy counter but when True. we go back to the 1.1 characters the amount of positive feedback that jinxi got and also shan li in their gameplay will encourage the developer to go even further with that and also if we go with Shen Li Yao and Jin which I think is a fair thing for the developers to do but I don't think they need to lean into any one way too hard again characters like Jian make other characters shine in terms of their nuance and their complexity shall we say but at the same time I think we need characters like that now and again as I said are just like hammers it makes it just adds that extra level to the game, extra different ways to play the game, different ways to tackle content, different feels to how the game plays as well. I don't think everything has to be that uh, extra um, 
thought-provoking gameplay, if you will, um, as a way to describe it potentially. I don't know. See, they don't look this much different. We're still following the same meta. So if we look at the public reception, yes, they think that this is a good meta. We need to have more swipe back characters. We don't yep. want easy characters because if we look at... We need some proper support and some proper sustained characters as well. That will really benefit the meta. You know, with the uh, let's ease off on the DPS slash sub DPS that are really DPS characters at the moment. Uh, that that'll help the meta ma massively. Gian, a lot of people like him. He's very good. But if we look at the other half, we can see that so many people think that he's too easy to the point of being boring, and people wanna have more fun. Because since I made my video before about Shang Li and discussing why people are saying she's mid, it's just because of this conversation of Shang Li being harder than Gian while having the same amount of. Damage. Damage. Yet we still see a lot of people liking Shang Li even more. Why? Because of the flashy gameplay, the amount of combos that you can do with the same amount of damage. Of course, this for me though will be one of those cases where I feel like people want this, but in the end, it might be the wrong thing for them if that's all they get. Now, don't get me wrong, we don't want lots of characters like Jian. We don't because uh, they are he is very simple. And I like him for that at the end of the day. I do. I really like that about Gian. But we don't want all, well, a lot of characters coming out like that. And I agree, characters like Changli, Jinxi, uh, they, they have a lot more uh, intricacy to them. And it does make them more fun. It makes them more engaging, should I say. Not necessarily fun, because I think it depends on how you're feeling about playing the game as well and how you want to tackle content also. Because at the end of the day, I think the best thing about uh Wuthering Waves and other gachas as well is when they have the variety of how to tackle content and I know typical content that comes with banners is tends to be kind of aimed towards that new limited banner which is fine I get that but I think the majority of content should be uh able to be tackled in a variety of manners not just different synergies and different setups but different play styles as well and I think we do need more characters like that in the future we just need a balance. That's the thing. I think if people do like this, I might be the only person who thinks this, but I think if we lean too heavily into those sort of characters and that's all we get, I don't think it'll necessarily be a bad thing, but I just think the game will be lacking something if we do. It's kind of how things are at the minute. The game's kind of lacking something because we don't have any real true new supports like Verena that kind of compete with that. Um, and I know the game's still early on, but I just I hope we don't go down this route. I hope we do every now and again. We kind of just get hammer tanky sort of characters that are just designed to bash stuff really simply of course this is personal preference but i think that most people want more mechanics and use more buttons overall so now let's count how many things this guy have brain rot counters already has a good four star team True. insane grouping and characters can be simple with multiple um uh, inputs as well you know uh, i know it's not as simple because at the end of the day the less the less you have to do the more simple it is but a character can still be really simple but be fun and have multiple ways to do it as well. Um, I understand that Gian might be a little bit too simple, but I do think we need more characters like him in the future. Not for a Big while, AOE, but we do the need him in the that future. You get doesn't require Personally. much skill, mobile friendly, easy swap back mechanics, and another thing to consider, most people have him. If Gian comes back with the PS5 launch, a lot of accounts will have this character. And of course, the main point is that players do prefer more mechanically required characters. So now you might say, it's okay, we can have another character that is easy, it's not that hard. That's why I said that people need to focus on every point in this video, because because a character can have one of the things that Gian has, two of the things, he can be easy, he can have an AoE damage, but there is no way we're getting another character like him except... I think that's potentially true, but I don't see why we couldn't. Again, I don't think everything in this game has to be mechanically skillful. I like that about this game, that's one thing I've raved about the combat in multiple videos. I love the mechanical skill ceiling in this game and the skill expression that you're able to do in this game. But I also think the game would be a miss not to have more simple options as well. For people who want to play the game like that for mobile, for people who just kind of want to unga bunga the way through the game as well, that's totally fine. And this is where, like I say, the variety in being able to attack different content in different means with different characters and playing the game in a totally different way to everybody else except if the amount of power creep will go insane in the future so yeah we're getting like a copy that people won't actually like a lot but he just more i do agree with that though it could potentially bring in power creep so 
I, I, I think he's right there. But, again, for me, the way we really tackle power creep in this game is through support and sustains in the future that lifts other characters up. It makes that support way more... Um, uh, way more potential for people to want to get that character. It's a lot more interesting because it's going to lift up a big portion of their, their roster that they've got now. And then when you do bring in seriously powerful new banners, they're not really creeping above everybody else because the next banner or potentially the previous banners lifted everybody up that little bit anyway powerful but even with that he will not be exactly the same because Gian is very unique and he kind of broke the game you know Ganyo in Genshin Impact or Hu Tao I think Gian is being in the same category here now of course in the end I want to say that this is I guess I guess to a good degree I can't necessarily disagree with what he's saying and I think he's probably going to be correct in the future but I, I, I do still think that characters like that the game would do well to have them again though you've got to find that balance haven't you um and all you've got to do with those sort of characters if they're really simple just make them ultimately the stats just always end up being that little bit less you're never going to get the same sort of numbers you're going to get with the more complex characters uh and that way then it's that trade-off i'm able to do this really easy really efficiently but i'm just never going to get those maximum numbers that i might get out of the more complex characters this is my theory of course i might be wrong this is what i wanted to do to have a discussion let's see what people think in the comments if you like my content don't forget to like and subscribe and of course if you want to help me with my content you can become a member anyway that was the video bye bye that was a really good video actually i i like that uh that's interesting um i like these sort of videos you know where it's like Kind of having like a sort of a, 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 a retrospective look at some of the content that's gone previously and, and, and seeing how that will affect stuff that we're getting in the future. Um, I, I, like Again, I can't disagree with what he said there about all of these sort of elements that Gian has got. That necessarily, if replicated in the future in multiple, multiple uh, iterations, will potentially create power creep support characters and sustain characters can negate that because i think they're always the way to negate power creep in these sorts of games because you're going to get power creep because you're going to want to make the new banner um you're going to want people to go out for it especially dps flashy characters you're going to want to make them powerful because otherwise what's the point but that's why then when you make your support characters and your sub dps's or your sustain characters you re need to make them really work well with a variety of the older teams as well and the characters that people have more likely got because they've got all the stats on what people have got as well. So I think that's the way to really tackle that side of things as well. So you can still kind of have the power creep, but it not be a problem because the entire game is creeping up, if that makes sense. And I think the way you do that is obviously with supports, isn't it? But yeah, that was a great video that was. Steel makes awesome content, guys. You should definitely go check him out. We will never have a character like Gian again. I don't know. I think he probably might be right, but I hope he's not. I hope we do get some sort of dumb, dumb, unga bunga characters in the future because I feel like the game needs it because I think variety is the spice. What is it? The spice of life, variety, whatever it is. I think it's important to have that sort of stuff. I want to be able to tackle the content in different ways. And sometimes I want to be able to just play through stuff in that fashion. Gian is great for clearing daily sort of stuff when you're having to deal with mobs because dude is just the cc king really and i don't think that's a big problem uh he, he does his job really well um and i love him as well actually dude looks cool as well doesn't he come on dude freaking god he just looks cool you know he's a giga chad yeah and he's dragon awesome okay great video from steel you should check him out